Hello everyone, and I am so excited to start our brand new unit, Fractions. Now, fractions are everywhere, so let's get started. So, what are fractions? Fractions are numbers that represent parts of a whole. So, we're going to take a look at some different fractions that you've probably seen before. So, let's take a look at this first one here. Now, we have one circle that's divided into two parts. So, what would you call one of these parts? you'd call them one half or two halves. And the number representation for a half or halves is going to be a one over two. Now the reason we put a one over two is because, well, there's two pieces and then we're just talking about one of them. So let's take a look at this bottom one here. Let's see how many equal parts there are. There's one, two, three, four. So if there are four equal parts to a shape, it's gonna be called fourths. Now, why is it called fourths? Well, because there's only four equal parts. It's gonna be really easy to remember. Fourths, four equal parts. And that is shown with a one over four. Lastly, we have one more. Now this one has quite a bit more shapes to look at. So let's see how many equal parts this shape has. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if two of them are halves, four of them are fourths, how many do you think eight is? It's eight. Now why is it called eight? Because there are eight equal parts in this whole and the number representation is going to be a one over eight so all right now i want you to close your eyes and imagine imagine that you ordered a giant pepperoni pizza just for you and you're gonna eat the whole thing what we have here is one whole pizza just for you nothing is divided but you get a call from one of your friends anyone any one of your friends you can think of and they say, you know what? I wanna come over and I wanna have some pizza too. You're gonna have to divide this pizza into equal parts. So then you have some and your friend has some. And I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be very happy if you decided to have most of the pizza because this looks pretty darn delicious. So what do you think? Where should I draw this to create equal parts? Now, since this is a circle, I'm gonna go ahead and draw right down the middle. Now, a fraction isn't just dividing a shape, it's also labeling it. So here's where it comes really tricky. Since I wanna go ahead and label these pieces, remember the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line across. Next, I'm gonna see how many parts are in this whole pizza. So how many parts are in this whole pizza right now? I see two. So I'm gonna put a two at the bottom. Now, which part am I labeling? Am I labeling both or just one? I'm just labeling one for now. So this is half the pizza. So what about this one? This is also half of the pizza. Excellent job. All right, so your friend came over. You guys are so excited to eat this delicious pizza that you've cut in half for both you and your friend to have equal pieces. But oh my gosh, your cell phone rings and two more friends wanna come over and share this amazing delicious pizza. So it's up to you. How are you going to divide this pizza into four equal parts? Where do you think we should draw our line? So. If I wanna draw this into four equal parts, I wanna make sure I'm being very careful into four equal parts. Now, again, dealing with fractions, I need to label each part. So first things first is I'm going to draw my line. Next at the bottom is the whole. So how many pieces does it take to make this whole pizza? Four. So I'm gonna draw a four there there are four parts to this pizza. So which one are we just labeling here? Are we labeling one part, two parts, three parts, or four parts? We're just labeling one. So if I were just to eat this, this would just be one fourth of the pizza. And so would this, and so would this.
And just like that, we've labeled this pizza into fourths. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat this, guys. All right, guys, your other two friends have arrived, so all four of your friends have come for some delicious pizza. But your cell phone rings one more time, and four more friends have decided to come over. They wanna have a game night with you. So again, you have to come all the way back to your delicious pizza, and you need to make sure there are eight equal parts to this pizza. So how would you divide this? Now, if I'm going to divide this, I want to be extra careful that I am being very, very sharp because again, I don't want to give one of my friends too much and one not enough. Grab something you can use to draw a very careful straight line. All right, we have cut up this pizza into eight equal parts. Next, we need to label these parts, make sure that we have enough for all eight of our friends. So, first things first, go ahead and draw your line. Now, before I go on, pause the video and see, can you create a fraction for this one slice of pizza? All right guys, it's time to check and see how we did with our fractions. So right now we're just looking at this piece. So remember, at the bottom, is it the part or the whole? It's the whole. So how many pieces does it take to make this whole pizza? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It takes eight pieces to make this whole pizza. Now we're just labeling how many? Just one of the eight pieces. So that means this one would be one eighth. This one would be one eighth. And just like that, you have saved game night. Every one of your friends has a slice of pizza. Now, you can tell them, say, well, you're not just having a slice, you are having one eighth of a pizza. Excellent job, guys. All right, guys, now that ends today's video. So for Seesaw, you're gonna be looking at some shapes and splitting them into halves, fourths, and eighths. Once you're done, I have a special challenge for you. See if you can go home and find other things you can split into fractions. Maybe you're gonna have a delicious sandwich for lunch and you wanna split it into halves, one for you and one for your friend or for your family member. Show me what you got with pictures. All right, guys, until the next video, I'll talk with you soon. Bye.